Alright, here is a game for the segment story mode. This is called Gone Home. I haven't played a whole lot of this one. Downloaded it, checked it out. That's why we have a resume button, but I mean very, very little. We're gonna go to new game. Set tape. A little weird. Old school. That is not a CD. So this is a game. It is about a college age girl. She comes home from college, I believe, and her family has moved. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to hear all this, but her family has moved. The house is somehow tied to some negativity. The Fulbright Company. They don't have a dimmer switch. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so... Love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay. They have an answering machine. What year is this? I would say in the 90s. Ah, look at that. June 7th, 1995. I didn't even know that. That wasn't even rehearsed. This girl's getting in at 1.15am. Who does she think she is? Young lady, you have got... Some explaining to do. Man, that is a loud. That rain is loud. Can you turn the weather down? I got my bags here that I apparently just throw on the floor. Uh, Caitlin is my name. Caitlin Grand Brier. Portland. All right. Where was I? Hmm. Well, um, so far. I mean, I got a duck, you know. That's pretty much all I need. I'm just gonna leave. I, I I got the duck, so I feel like anything beyond that door, even what's on that note, it's not as important as this duck. When you have a duck, that's all you need. The game is over. Oh, I dropped the duck. Oh, can't take the duck, but fine. LT to examine. But I mean. Yeah, I told you, it's a duck. We're, we're, or is it a... <laughs> I think it's a goose. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> well, you know, these things, they happen. I, it's just a it's just a goose. I mean, I can turn it around all I want, but it's still going to be a goose. Get out of here, goose. You were so important to me before, and now you're just on the floor. Oh, it is a duck! It was a duck the whole time! Why did I doubt myself? Alright, what's this note say? Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impo impossible, really impossible. I mean, like, there's no way that you could possibly be there. There's something that is just making it physically impossible for you to be in this area at this time. Or is it, like, improbable? Is it inconvenient? Do you have something that you really need to do? Impossible might be a little strong. All right, we need to move on. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. Uh, I don't think that's ever been uttered to anybody that's ever cared at least a semblance about somebody, and they didn't go digging immediately. I don't want mom and dad, you know what, on second thought, I don't want anyone to know. Nobody. We'll see each other again, someday. Don't be worried, I love you. Sam. Listen, Sam, um, if you want to leave a message for somebody, especially somebody in your family, and you don't want them to be worried... Uh, pretty much don't say anything um, from like from um, about there anything all the way down to you know like about about there yeah you can pretty much say um Katie I love you Sam and then that's it's what is that I don't want to go in there I don't want duck duck go in there Let's see what they, oh. Okay. Listen. I think the outside's scarier than whatever's in there. Can, can I take the duck though? I do I do like the duck. I just Oh, okay. I'm locked out of my own house? Wait. Well oh, they're both locked. Can I Uh can you pick a lock with a duck? Eh. Okay, that didn't work. Plan two. Is there a hide-a-rock? Maybe a hide-a-plant? If I was 
my family, which I guess I technically am, where would I put a key? Should I, like, make some progress, or... Now I got a cup, cup and a duck, that's all I need. Making progress, baby. Asking if I... There, the key... Oh, my... <laughs> I was so... <laughs> I was so enamored with the duck. I didn't see the key. What? Why would you hide a key under a duck? Any normal person would come in and be fascinated with the duck. Maybe that's why they hid it under the duck. Because they knew that they'd be so busy and preoccupied with the duck, they would never see the key. Get out of here, duck. You're a red herring. Get it? Because the herring's a bird. And the duck's a bird. And Okay. Wow, we are, we are well off. It's a nice house. See, look, we just moved in. It's not much of a hall. It's more of a foyer. Or, or if you're uninformed, you might call it a foyer. Ah, uh, we're lazy. That's what we are. We paid somebody $2,750 to move our crap? I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but in 95, that was still a little bit more money than it is today. And today, that is a lot of money. I need to... Quit what I'm doing, forget computers, and just go start moving boxes for a living, Dear pretending Katie, like that didn't scare me. So much has changed, huh? even just since you've been away. Where is it coming from? We moved into this house. Who I'm are you? School. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. But where? It doesn't feel real. Why? Why? But do I'm I... not gonna let it phase me. Yeah, I used that's to tell you everything, phases. and if I can't though. do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, hey, I'll tell it to this journal. Not gallivanting. Just like I was talking to you. Just going to college. Turn some lights on in this house. People are home now. Receipts. This family is messy. Add to the mess just because we're part of the family, man. That's what we do in this family. We throw it on the ground and pay somebody to pick it up. Nice. Hey. Is that my mom? Senior conservationist. Ha. <laughs> She cares about trees. What a loser. Still, I mean, the movers did a poor job. Like, why would this box saying front hall be in this corner closet, and then this box over here also says front hall, and it's in the foyer? At least put them in the same spot, you know? If I, if I know anything about... Mo what was that? I'm gonna go on. If I know anything about moving boxes... And houses? So you put the boxes that are labeled the same in the same spot, man. Okay, how come... I don't want to judge. But what kind of a weird... Stop. What kind of a weirdo doesn't have a mirror above their sink? Ah. Uh, sparkle. Hand soap. Green apple. That... You know, I don't mind some green apple hand soap myself. But I'm going to put that right there because I feel like it's just right. They're going to walk in the door. First thing that they see... You're gonna be like, ah, oh, after a long time, I wonder, uh, I wonder if Katie's so... Wonder, wonder if... Wonder... Look at these doors worked on. What, what is wrong with these doors? Wonder if Katie's home. Oh, Katie is home. She threw the stuff on the floor like she always does, because she's a slob and part of this family. Whoop, look at these creeps. Ha. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> See, I don't have a mirror in this house, so I have to go look at myself in a picture. A family portrait. Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Jan and Terry. I was like, who is Jan and Terry? Where are they? There's only four people in this picture. <laughs> Alright, back to it. Back to the action. The action, the matter at hand. Turn that light on. Look, it's an answering machine. I wouldn't have known it was there if I didn't turn that on. Hey. Sam. Huh? Sam. Oh, that's me. That's me talking on the on the answering machine. Nobody's been here in a while, apparently. Sam! Don't read this yet. Stop reading it. We're answering we're answering messages right now. Alright. Sam, where are you? Oh! I wasn't ready for that. Really? Oh. I need to talk to you. She's sad. It's getting kind of scary. Be there. I thought that was like I I turned, I thought that was the shadow of a person right there. Like kind of a a round so I got my ticket home from person, I a chubby person. Six, but it's a really late flight because oh, that was a ticket, so it gets in at midnight. 
But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, shuttle. You, seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Could have gotten Uber if it was 15 years later. Alright, stop it. Stop it. So glad we got rid of these things. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see... Hello? Anyway. Uh, he wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. <laughs> got him. Burn. Hope there's a burn unit in this town. because He just got burned. Stick a fork in him. He's done. Turn him over. He's roasted. Alright, going on. Uh, the only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo <laughs> when we were little. Listen, Sam, I respect you. I mean, that's just smart thinking right there. Turn the lights on, because the dark is spooky. Close the door, because I feel like... I, closed doors just kind of make me feel safe. Make me feel better about myself. To check your location... Why are there things moving in the house? I should be the only thing moving in the house. Okay. See, I told you it was a foyer. A.K.A. foyer, if you are unintelligent. Or just lacking of class. Empty. Who's talking? Do we go in or do we stay out here? I mean, we gotta go in. What's the point, right? Oh! <laughs> the closet. The backpack. And a note. Remember these things? It's like, hey, bring a sturdy folder. You're gonna need to put a lot of papers in that sturdy folder. You can't have a flimsy one. Let your mom shop at the Dollar Tree. I'm not honestly gonna read all these things. Oh, and a positive attitude. See, Sam, she doesn't bring a positive attitude because she is a hormonal teenager. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before, and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon. I mean, they're lucky. Oh when I was a kid, my bed, my you bell would ring so at 7:45. You were so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So it's the first day of school, and there I am introducing myself to the class. <laughs> no. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. Yeah. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing for the hard military. For a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all the know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Oh. <sighs> Great. Don't you hate it when pencils get, like, behind stuff? <laughs> no wonder why they sent me off to school. I'm the worst. Close these things. There we go, that's better. Hey. What's going on in here? Oh, it's a study. They had the... They put the books on the shelf. They had the time for that, but they didn't have time to get the boxes out of the front of the house where the, the, the visitors and the guests come in. Wiring house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements, however, multiple layers of wiring have been added to the structure in the last hundred years. System is frequently... Unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts. Circuit wired directly behind the surface. Reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issues will not be addressed. I don't have enough money to make sure the lights don't go off like me in my house, and yet I and paying $3,000 for people to move boxes into my house. Turn that on. Oh, look at that wallpaper. Can I get that in my bathroom, please? Oh, it's all over the whole room. Look at all the books, man. What? Why was this moving company's first priority? The books. A stranger under my roof? The parents of teens. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I never had such a good conversation with my daughter. These simple tools can make all the difference to a relationship with your child. Hey, you think that might be the code? Ha, ah, 
David asked me and Richie regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. Okay, I get it. You aren't uh, okay with my work. 0451. My dad is falling on hard times. His work doesn't like him. Fresh. Whoa. That, I don't know why. The faces in this game creep me out. 90210. Does anybody still care? <laughs> No, no, they don't. Nope, you know what we do with tissue boxes? We throw them on the floor, because we're Katie, and Katie does not care. Four. Five. One. The zero is unimportant. If you don't say it, you know it's a zero. Aw, uh, yeah. Look at this go. Hey, what's this important document that I shouldn't be reading because my dad clearly locked it up because he didn't want me to see it? Dear Mr... Mason, please find and close your original document and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this. Oh, I read it with the wrong tone. Like, I I was reading it as if he was being, like, angry at him. I guess he's just being nice and considerate. I'm not reading all this. I, yeah, I can't even read that. I do not care. Here we go. What? You, you gotta put the book back on the shelf, man. JFK. The killing of JFK a theory. Ah, our dad is a conspiracy theorist. They turned off all the lights in the house, but left the TV blaring? They left a full ginger ale here? I mean... Oh. Well, no wonder why. You see all those carves? I'd have left it here too. And I will. Oh, look! Sam made a fort! Look at the fort. Hauntings and poultry, guys. Sam, you are a creep. Why does nobody open their soda or drink it? They just bring full sodas out of the, what I assume come from the fridge. They're cold. They leave them laying around. They get warm. Nobody wants them. Oh, my... Every time I see a window... I think it's a person just looking at me. <sighs> this game, I'm not going to get through VHS. <laughs> hey, that goes in there. Check it out. Ooh, yeah. Some swinging tunes from a role model. Whoa. Whoa. Some real swinging tunes. Alright, come on. That's very loud. Is there a volume here? Girl, wait. Do you think... Do you think they actually went through the... The trouble? Oh, that'd be so cool. No! No! Guess what? They didn't go through the trouble. I want to listen to side A. Sam thought this might help. <laughs> this is a classic example of a dad that has no idea how to be a dad. Hey, Sam, you're weird. You have no friends. You don't know how to make them. Here's a book about it. Feeling lonely? It's a piece of cake to make friends. Never worry again about having friends to spend time with. This book will teach you to make friends even when you're shy. Yeah, guess what? I bet that's just going to offend Sam you know and make her feel worse. Oh. Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them. And you have to get to know them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Well, there's this girl. Where did the I think VCR she's a senior. Go? She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this like army uniform. <laughs> and she's always drawing in this notebook, <laughs> looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever like have an excuse to talk to her, till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. This seems like. I mean, I wouldn't read the note that was locked up in the cabinet, but this seems important. I think that this might be a plot point to the game. We should probably read it. The turtle people. Those look like normal turtles, Sam. There's nothing... I mean, that one on the left got an A+. I guess he's personified. He could technically be a turtle person, but he looks more like a turtle that's just standing upright. He's a bipedal turtle. It's unlikely, but still not a turtle person. Anyway, Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed, <laughs> with two exclamation points, not just one. 
Man, she's gonna be a famous writer one day. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm losing, I'm losing interest in the, in, the, in the story they're saying. What? Miss the trash can. That means that I get to read it. Hey, are you the girl? Are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back, behind you. Wave if you get this, and write back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Man, I really hope Sam's not mean to this kid. He sounds very lonely. No, she doesn't mind. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? What was the point of the yes and no if she was just going to write no below it? It's repetitive. It's redundant. You don't need it. Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run the... Thomas? Huh. I get a hold of him. Big sister's back in town. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. What did you take, Sam? What did you take? What did you take? What? Man, I am nosy. Hi, Lonnie. So, if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I can drive you home, too, so hopefully that's fine. Right back and leave this in my locker if you still want to, and we can meet in the parking lot at 6. Samantha. So, Sam's at least 16. Yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. I feel like Sam shouldn't be hanging out with people that are abusing her. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Mm -hmm. Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. What? At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that Look. practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. Is this Sam so or is this Katie talking? I finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. Oh, it's Sam. And that was when was Lonnie, she asked me that if I was that butt. psycho house girl. Ugh, these but are then so she mean. said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. <laughs> lip stuff. Her lip name stuff. Is Lonnie. It's the stuff she's you put in your lips. Tomorrow. Hey, what are the odds that we could roll a perfect six? One. What are the odds that we could roll a perfect snake eyes? Four. Ah, oh, locked. It's locking to I mean, people, you, you leave it in the trash, like, I'm not gonna read it. Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mom and Dad. The attic? It sounds like there's people moving around in the haunted house that I'm in. Frankly, I don't think I'd still be in this house at this point. I apparently need to go to the attic. Is this where the attic is? Turn the light on. All right. And that light on. We need to brighten up this house. That's a record player. Man, they are really going to town with the old technology here. Even in the 90s, nobody had a record player. My grandparents were like really old school. They did not. Oh, wait. No, they did have a record player. Play it. Oh, yeah. World history. Reproductive system worksheet. Hey! Now that it's happened. Oh, that was a good sound. <laughs> Why? Why is it, Dr. Jitters? Why is it that every can of soda in this house is just left laying around and nobody drinks them? Look it! It's not open. Of course. It's just orange. Oh yeah, got the booze. Can I, can I make a 7 and 7? Can I just give me one of these glasses and one of those and... Pour it up! Unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish your follow-up. Okay, clearly we're getting it. Like, he's he's not doing well with this business. He leaves his notes in the bar where he also leaves his problems. Open the door and turn on the lights. This guy's got a lot of records. Move on to cassettes, they're just taking up space. Look at, look, I told you. So, he's clearly a whacked out conspiracy theorist, and nobody's buying his books, because he's crazy. 
Look. More of them. This is a different one. It's still crazy. What's this say? Please give this to your mother. Thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could lend Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighter tape. And I, tape? What? <laughs> and I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. That's legit. When you She's live in friend. one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. Where are we going? But he did always have the good Nintendo that door's games. locked. Maybe I'll give him a call. This girl loves Nintendo. She'll do anything for some Nintendo. Oh, th there's an upstairs. I forgot that we're apparently rich. I have a mansion, even though our dad can't sell a book. Turn that on. Creepy stair climber over here has got me going. Scheduled for Boone County. Controlled burn. Oh, man. She's so prideful she highlights her own name in the newspaper. That'd be great. Oh, I like that it has the physics to roll down the stairs, but I wish that they had a slinky in here. Nope, no slinky. Oh, what? For Sam. Look at how cute. What, what does that say? You're gonna... Oh. Whoa! Whoa, the language, guys! Okay. Sam's friends are... It's weird older. hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is well, like... better not go in there. ...instantly just right. I gave her the Grand Psycho <laughs> House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. It was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape, <laughs> and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Oh, he wants his Nintendo game back. 17 years old, and therefore an independent, fully functional human being, the fact that you still forbid me for going to the city on my own is frankly absurd compared with Katie, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I'm ignoring the fact that I can hear something walking around to my left. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you should really hyphenate that word, and since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Not really a time that you use warmest regards, Sam. Don't know how to use the words, don't use them. Stop leaving the TVs on, they're annoying. Turn the lights on instead, like your sister. Oh, I bet there's a tape in here somewhere. Just go rooting through my sister's stuff. Hey, what, what, what do you guys think? You want to hear some Bratmobile? I'm sure this is going to be great. Wow. Fuck you too. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this family and leaving little notes everywhere? Hi, Lonnie. I wrote this in first period and left. It's in your locker. On uh, my way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing, I've decided. Wait, have you decided that's what the cool kids are doing, or have you noticed it? Anyway, write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. I used to do this when I was a kid. My friend Sam and I, we would do this. My favorite thing that I asked her to draw was a horse standing in a field of extra crunchy peanut butter. Like, the field itself was peanut butter. I don't know. It was my favorite thing. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages in their peepers. <laughs> but we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper! Nice cat. I like it. Two cats. One is personified, one is not. And an alien, for some reason. Don't really know why, but I like it. Hey! 
Sam, let me guess, you didn't drink that pop, did you? Did you? Your Dr. Jitters left it full. Press B. I could crouch? I could crouch the whole time? Auto challenging assignment. Metal plaque for family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. <laughs> Acceptable. <laughs> Leveling on edges. Show more pride in your work. You a little nerd. It's, they're talking about the thing under the picture, if you don't remember. I want to believe, but you don't? But you want to? But wait, are you saying you believe because you want to, or that you don't believe and you wish you did? So many questions left unanswered. We need to find her and ask. What does that say? Grab. It's Staggy. Staggy. See? In case there's any, any wonderings, any, any concern, the Stegosaurus, its name? Staggy. Anything under your pillow. Well played. That's pretty cool. I would like that. I mean, it'd be really bright in the morning, but it, it would get you up, right? I'm seriously invading everybody's privacy. Soul Asylum Live, Eddie Vedder, and Weezer. Those are great musicians. Put that back. Put that there. Turn this on. Pick that up again. Throw it on the ground. Grab a pop. Make sure it's not open. It's not. Hey, look, another pop. Not opened. This is a bathroom. Nothing special about a bath. It is really cool. There's all these skylights in this house. I want to live here if it wasn't haunt. Guess this one's broken. And just take a peek from over on this side, right? I mean, no. All right. What is? It? Wild color. Red. Right hand. Semi. Permanent hair color. Not tested on animals. So, like, don't use it on your dog? Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She Left said, it by the bathtub. I need bathtub. to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying Rat. hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? <laughs> it felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said... You're so beautiful. Oh, and she was that's a little weird. Me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. I feel like their friendship is getting dangerously close to something else. <sighs> I'm getting tired of reading this girl's notes. I'm so nosy. I just don't care anymore. Like they just leave them everywhere. Everywhere in the house, there's a note. Katie, Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that we weren't they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam, because she left and is never coming home because she is a dramatic 17-year-old. Surprise, surprise, moving boxes everywhere. The company did not earn their $3,000. Oh, that's my old notebook. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall when I rounded the corner. No one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Wait, is this mine or... Oh, no, it's Sam's. Okay. Faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. <laughs> she, she dismisses it so quickly. Ah, it's probably the furnace. Who cares? Poured milk from carton and fridge. Did you pour it in the fridge? It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that the spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Moo? What? <laughs> it's just a cow spirit? Also ghost milk. Very good, Sam. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. That's the fort, the fort that we saw earlier. Uh, Lonnie and I employ Ouija port as a medium. Not a good idea. Just inviting demons into your lives. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted... Why did her handwriting change like eight times? Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises. Recording any signs of otherworldly presence, Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic. Probably leaky roof. Sample taken, just in case. Despite... Our best efforts. We both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. 
What is that? It's kind of creepy how they put those lights around it. I don't know if Sam did that. Ooh. We have an artiste in here. Can I... Can I... Oh, the game doesn't let me disrespect art. <laughs> Halloween show. Misfits. I mean, you can't argue with that logic. Don't forget your costume. Wait, the Halloween show starts at 4 p.m.? Sometimes you just have to lie well, I know you're 17, bed. but... Like when Lonnie asked me to see Whoa. a band with her and stay at over at her friend's place in the 4 city. 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Mom and Dad. That's a lie to Mom and Dad's situation. But it was so worth Chance it. Chance is doing great at her the work. The girls on stage were just Terry's so bad at his. loud and real and awesome. I'm not even going to put the tape in there. I don't want to hear it. And together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears Skills starting in my life. eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Could tell what? Could tell what? Turn on the light. Open this. That's a really creepy outfit. What is that? Captain Allegra. The first. Is she still on about this? Holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage and it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I have got to see this. We're skipping six. Alright, so we already know where the library was. We're in the upstairs hall now. We haven't been in Mom and Dad's room, but I feel like, you know, whatever. Do you think there's actually a secret passage in the library? So, do we go through, we go through the closet in Mom and Dad's room, which is through the bathroom? We were in the bathroom, I didn't see an exit for Mom and Dad's room. Alright. That helps. Thank you, game. I do like that. So, attic or secret passage? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. <laughs> Do you think that's where Sam is? Did she run away to inside the house? I mean... Seems lazy. Who left the water running in there? Ah, my gosh. Irresponsible people. Don't they know that there are people in this world that get really stressed out when you use too much water when you're doing the dishes and things like that? Just leaving water on even in a video game. I mean... It's just not good behavior. It's just crappy behavior. Mom and Dad's room. I hear there's a secret passage in here. There's some lights on. Here we go. I don't really want to go through my Mom and Dad's drawers, but I feel like they're making me. So here we go. We're just going to get this over quickly. Yes, yes. Mitten. Love. Mitten R cat. I thought it said Mitten Love cat. <laughs> Caitlin, age five. I made this when I was five years old. My parents kept it here, safe and sound. They didn't want anything to happen to it because they love me. Oh, it just, it warms the heart. Anyway. Oh, my mom's purse. My mom left without her purse. What? Foul play is involved. Oh yeah, we're supposed to look for that secret passage. <laughs> Alright. Mom and Dad's room. This door. To the bathroom. Okay. Okay. Pretty normal stuff going on. Why are there no mirrors in the house? Is it because we're a family of ghosts? Ghosts don't have mirrors because they don't have reflections? Are we haunting the house? So many questions left unanswered. This is a really creepy bathroom. There is a, a gratuitous amount of doors in this house. After the honeymoon. Rediscover it. Ooh. 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 All right, where's the uh, the old secret passage there, Sam? Oh, I'm in the wrong room, I guess. 
leave the water running. Every single time, I think it's a person! So is the secret passage in here? It is. Okay. Oh look, a ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. That's essentially what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to escape from Ghost Mansion. Man, I keep thinking I'm going to turn and there's going to be somebody standing there. Should, should I just, just press the button? Oh, that's weird. There's cobwebs. I don't like this. Maybe we just don't go in there. You know, maybe we just close the panel. We just turn around, go make up the bed in the guest room, take the boxes off it, get some sleep, and worry about the panel when, it, when it's not dark and stormy in the house, you know? I mean, that's an option. We haven't considered that option. Instead, we gotta just go romping through the cobweb-infested secret passageway in the middle of the night, the house we just got to for the first time. Oh, yeah, of course you have stuff like this all over the place, you freak. Uh, was he obsessed with women's fashion? Was he a cross-dresser? Ghost Hunter, Sam and Lonnie, secret house investigation log. Hidden compartments found, three. Library, upstairs, hall, and foyer. Evidence of the supernaturals. Discovered, zero. The search continues. There are multiple, multiple hidden passages in this house. We've found one. We have found clues of a couple more. I think... That's really creepy. Gotta ignore that. I think this is probably a pretty good place to stop because... You guys are interested in knowing what's in, in the, the other passages. We found one. We found one. It's Creepy McCreep Creeps, uh secret I want to wear a dress lounge where he puts all the dresses he likes and wants to wear oh but he's got a crucifix oh 